Hey, Illumineers, today we've got our hands on a whole bunch of Lorcana. We got a bunch of the Rise of the Floodborne packs. Today we got the booster packs, we got the starter decks, and we've got a Lumineers Trove. Guys, finding Lorcana right now in the midst of all this holiday madness is like trying to find Aladdin's lamp. It's nearly impossible, but My Cave of Wonders was in Appleton, Wisconsin at a little shop called Chimera Hobby Shop. Thanks mom for picking this up for me. I do appreciate it. Today we're gonna unbox all of this. I'm so excited. Ah! Let's get going. We're gonna start on the starter decks. So let's go. This is going to be the Amethyst and Steel starter deck. Uh, looks like we have Merlin on the front and I, I'm guessing that's Tiana, but let's get going. I'm very excited for this. Ah, there we go. So we're gonna get our starter deck and we're going to have a booster pack as well. I'll throw that in this pile over here for now. With every starter deck, you are going to get your victory point map. So you can count your victory points um, there's also an app for this if you would rather use the app. I prefer to use the app or I also bought a 20 sided die and you can just change the die every time you get a victory point or you lose a victory point. That's the way I, I normally do it but you also do have the counter tokens if you want to go that route as well. Now, first starter deck, Amethyst and Steel. These are the cards that we are working with. Right off the bat, we get a nice Merlin card here. Tiana, look at that. So I'm just gonna go through them pretty quickly. So that way you can kind of see all of the cards in the deck in case you, uh, you don't have your hands on this yet and you kind of want to see it. I love anything to do with the Emperor's New Groove. So those Cusco cards are awesome. I just recently watched The Sword in the Stone. That is a fun movie. It, it, uh, it's older, so you, you could tell that it, it doesn't age perfectly well, but uh, I still really enjoyed it. Look at all the Merlin stuff we got. <laughs> there's a funny scene where he turns into a squirrel. I hope we, oh, there's the squirrel card. That's fantastic. And like all the other real squirrels are like hitting on him. Just, it's just a funny scene. We got a bunch of Winnie the Pooh. Yes, yes, some beast cards. I'm making a mess over here. I want these to be well taken care of, and I am already off to a bad start. Ryan the Last Dragon, perhaps? Cinderella in training. Look at this. Hercules. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Lorcana card is so far, um, whether it's from the first chapter or if it's from Rise of the Floodborne. I'm very curious. Is it for the artwork that it's your favorite or is it for the actual action on the card? What makes it, what constitutes it as your favorite card? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Let's get that to the side. And now we're on to the second starter deck. This one has, it has the evil queen from Snow White. And then we have a smart looking Gaston. That's kind of funny and kind of ironic because you know, he, I don't know that he's that smart. All right, let's get this guy opened up. And again, we got a booster pack. All right. Right off the bat, we got the queen. Got some Gaston, Bashful. Christopher Robin, Doc. Dopey, dopey. Love the Gaston cards, those are fun. Duke, Grumpy. Grumpy is my spirit animal. Happy, LeFou. So Snow White is clearly Clearly the uh, the highlight of this deck. If you're a big Snow White fan, this is the starter deck for you. And then we got some we got some uh, Cruella. Yeah, oh that's amazing. I'm a big fan of Zootopia, so the Judy Hopps card. The Lactides. We got a uh, hundred percent uh, chance of Danny DeVito playing him, so that'll be cool in the live action. Loving all the Winnie the Pooh as well. Just trying to go through these real quick, guys. I don't want a long video. I did the first chapter. If you guys want to watch the first chapter of me unboxing, uh, it was like $200 worth of Lorcana. I'll link it in the description or it'll be up here somewhere. So let's open up this guy next. The 
Trove. This one is called, oh, it's still called the Illumineers Trove, but it's the Rise of the Floodborne. I love my other box. I, I, I love it. Let me, let me grab that. So here's the first chapter of the Illumineers Trove <clears throat> next to the Floodborne. Now this guy is loaded with stuff. I have all, all my goodies in here of all my Lorcana so far. So now I'm gonna have a second box of this, but I'm very excited to have that. So that's, that's pretty, pretty exciting. Now, here we go. Again, we have a booklet that shows you all the cards that are going to be inside, which is super pretty cool. I like that. We got some more counters and we got some card boxes. This is gonna be great for my starter decks that I just opened up. We can put the starter decks in here. Looks like one has Tiana on one side with Araya on the other and then Gaston and Cinderella. And then we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more boosters to unwrap. So let's get into all of that right now. Thanks so much for, by the way, guys, for watching. Um, I've been doing this channel for about a year and I've been having a blast. I hope that you guys have, have enjoyed some of my videos. And if you haven't, please do feel free to subscribe and, and check out some of my other videos. I talked to my dog in some of these videos and uh, I talk to AI. I just try to have fun with the videos. And if you guys have any ideas for videos that you think you would love for me to make, give me a shout out. Now let's get started on all of these booster packs I got here. How many we got? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 boosters. Let's get cracking. All right. So we had this in one of the starter decks. A bunch of these are gonna be in the starter decks. I did not see that one before, that's pretty cool. Ooh, ooh. Minnie Mouse, look at Alice. Paint the roses red, that's our foil, is paint the roses red. And we have a side card, okay. <clears throat> Just gonna put all the foils to the side, there we go. More Cusco. Oh, that's a really pretty card. I like that. Donald Duck. Look at that Cruella. I like that. Okay. Queen of Hearts, world's greatest criminal mind. What? That's great. And there is our foil, Strength of the Raging Fire. That is, that is one of the best songs in all of Disney, like man out of you, strength of a raging fire. That's cool, that's a cool card. All right, on to the next one. We're gonna fly through these guys. I am not trying to make this video long. We're gonna fly through them as quickly as possible. Duke Weaselton, played by Alan Tudyk, who also played the Duke of Weaselton in Frozen, Alan Tudyk. He's also in Wish. He's gonna play that go in Wish. Pinocchio as, as a donkey. <laughs> That's fantastic. There's another Merlin, another Gaston, and there's our foil, is Ray. I love how this is actually coming together. My photo over here is coming together. I'll put the foil off to the side. Next pack. We got the owl, but still, fairy godmother. Gaston, ooh. Guys, I'm all about Aladdin. Anything with Aladdin, that's my favorite movie. Not just my favorite Disney movie, it's my favorite movie altogether. And our foil is Popsicle from Zootopia. Have you guys been playing this game or are you guys just getting them to collect them? I'm curious because I've played it twice so far. It's been a fun game. It's a fun game. I kind of wish it was a little bit longer. Um, but I have not played it a lot. And I think the biggest part is because a lot of people can't get their hands on it. So like, I mean, I could share the cards. If somebody's in my area and you guys wanna play, hit me up. I have all the starter decks, so you could use one of them and, and we could play the game together. Oh, Lumineers the foil, that's, 
that's kind of cool. All right. Still hoping for an enchanted. I think Lumineer is considered rare and so is Strength of the Rage and Fire. My first pack, I did end up getting the enchanted Tinkerbell, the giant Tinkerbell. That thing was, I think it was pretty cool. Okay, so Rabbit, Sneezy, Jiminy Cricket, Tiana, oh yes, Jafar's a snake. Snake, am I? Guys, this is the worst. This is the worst movie ever made. Like, why did Alice in Wonderland have to be made? <laughs> Look at that bell card. And we finally finished out our puzzle here. That's how the puzzle looks in the end. Look at all the garbage piling up over there. <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Bucky, Yzma, ooh, she has had better days there. Winnie the Pooh, oh, that is cool. That's a great beast card right there. I like that. <laughs> One of the most fun things about opening trading cards is you just never know what's coming and it's so exciting. You never know what's gonna be next. Your pants dagger. Going pretty fast here, guys, because I want to get through this. That's, yes. Who plays him? Jason, I'm spacing on his name. Tell me who voices him in the comments. <laughs> Mouse armor. All right. It's gonna be fun to kind of like mix some of Floodborne with, with the first chapter when like building my deck. And uh, let me know what you guys use for your decks. Like what, do you use the steel, the amethyst? Um, what do you guys like to use when you play your game? And are you just using starter decks? Or are you swapping things out? Let me know how I can start beating everybody at this game. <laughs> Pete. Nothing to hide. Come on, Enchanted. Where are the enchanted cards? Maybe we're saving best for last and it's around the corner. I'm hoping, oh, that was upside down. That's kind of weird. Uh -huh. Queen of hearts. Ooh, that's a cool Robin Hood card. I like that. Cheshire cat, tuck tuck, basil, and the queen. Down to our last couple packs. Felicia, by Felicia, Queen of Hearts, Duke Weaselton, happy Mulan card there. Are you guys putting these in binders? Or, or you're just doing it as decks? So like I bought a binder, um, I haven't put them together. Like if I wanted to just like keep them as like a collectible, maybe I should start bindering them. Mulan. Ooh, that's nice. I like that King Arthur card. That's super nice. Basil, Rapunzel, Facilier, Charge, Launch, Fairy Godmother, Zero to Hero. <laughs> Look at that. That Merlin card is fun. Ooh, Cobra Bubbles. Didn't expect to see him in a card. And look at that Gaston card. I like that. I like that to muy mucho. All right, guys, we have four left. Ah. All right. Right here, guys, right here. Believe in the heart of the cards. Believe in the heart of the cards. Okay, Tigger, Donald Duck, Owl, Bell, Fairy Godmother, Jafar. A shiny Nick. I would love to have the luck of an enchanted card at some point, like I did for the first chapter. All right, let's, is it the next one? Yep, it's the next one, what do we got? It's not enchanted. Huntsman, shiny, all right. 
I feel like, I feel like Hades just took my Herculean power. <laughs> I can't open, I can't open bags right now. Okay. <laughs> Fidget. Oh, I don't even know what movie that is. Okay. Panic. James, the queen. Pick a fight, Ralph. And a Cruella. Last pack. Last pack. And you know what? Doesn't matter what's in this thing. This is awesome. The artwork in this game is just gorgeous and I'm so pumped about it. I'm so excited that I got all of my, my hands on all of these cards. I know a lot of you, they're, you're struggling to find them and I get it. I feel like Ravensburger really dropped the ball when it came to releasing all of these cards. And especially because it's the holiday season, everybody wants to get their hands on them. Um, my mom was tempted to just give these to me as a Christmas gift and I'm like, no mom, no. Let me give you the money because I want to open these immediately. I am not waiting for December 25th. It's going to drive me crazy. All right, let's go. Last pack of Lorcana. Guys, this has been fun. It's been fun opening these with you. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching all of this with me. Um, I love sharing these moments with you and I would love to do a gameplay video. I'll probably do that at some point in the near future. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for dropping by and giving my, my channel a chance. All right, last, last pack. Gaston, we got the rabbit. We got Sneezy, Achoo! Jimmy Cricket, Tiana. Now you can get those beignets at Tiana's Palace in Disneyland. They're bomb, definitely go get those. Mother Gothel, Mouse Armor, Bounce, Lil John. Are we on the last one? We got Merlin. After this, we have our last card. <laughs> It is Hold Still with Belle. Nice little shiny there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching it. And we'll see you guys next time on the movie tour.